LG Chem, they used to be the biggest battery company in the world. In fact, they were in 2022, but they're not anymore. They're not even that relevant, to be honest. I mean, how often can I make videos about their battery technology? Because they're not doing that much, all that, all that interesting. However, they are doing one thing, which is kind of nice. They are producing 4680 battery cells for Tesla and production will begin very, very soon, which could potentially mean Tesla vehicles, more of them will use 4680 cells. For example, the Tesla Model Y, it doesn't use them anymore. It might go back to those cells and it could also mean Tesla can ramp up Cybertruck production significantly versus what they're doing today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Tesla 4680 battery cell production. Um, it's currently only done by Tesla, but Panasonic and LG are both going to begin manufacturing 4680 cells. LG, it looks like, are going to beat Panasonic to the race to produce these batteries, these cylindrical cells for Tesla. On the 24th of June, industry sources said that LG will start producing Tesla's 4680 cells in South Korea. So could Tesla potentially use the 4680 cells in its EVs that it makes in China, which would also come to countries, you know, if you get Chinese Teslas, for example, that would mean you'd have access to those very possibly. This would be an advantage, for example, in the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y performance. The Tesla Model 3 performance is limited in its power output by the battery pack. That's true. Um, the battery pack can't discharge power as fast in the Chinese LG version of the batteries that they use compared to the Panasonic batteries that are used in the Tesla Model 3 that's manufactured in America. So people have complained about this. They're like, well, I want the American version. I want to, I want to have the fastest Tesla Model 3 performance you can get, but they can't currently get that because the Chinese version, it can't put out as much power. Now it's not a big difference to be honest. It's only about 20, maybe 20, 25 horsepower. I doubt you'd be able to notice a difference driving but you still notice it when you look at the stats, right? Anyhow, this new LG factory in Oshang, I think it's called, is have a, well, it has a production capacity of eight gigawatt hours for 4680 cells. Not a massive production capacity, but it's enough to supply 110,000 EVs. The battery supply will provide these 4680 cells to Tesla, but possibly other automakers. Now, it's interesting here, guys. I don't think these batteries from LG will go to American cars. It's highly unlikely that LG would ship them to America considering all the trade issues and everything now. And then, you know, America, that uh, Tesla would put them in Tesla vehicles made in America. I think it's much more likely that South Korea, which is just across the border, um, well, right there, you're basically already in China, more likely that Tesla would use those batteries for their vehicles made in China. So, Tesla announced on June the 8th, it has cumulatively produced 50 million 4680 batteries in Texas. That's production of 120 cells a day. Apparently their yield is still below 20% though. Tesla will rely on LG Energy Solution and Panasonic for batteries, said Ellis Securities researcher An He Su. Now, I don't know about the yield being below 20%. That's not what I've heard, but that's what he says. If you know, if, you're, if you work at the Tesla factory, the Tesla's battery factory, uh, let us know if that's true in the comments. LG will expand its 4680 production to America though. So that's gonna be happening, I believe next year at the new Arizona plant. LG, apparently their Arizona plant was expected to produce 2170 cells at an annual capacity of 27 gigawatt hours. However, they will actually, well, they announced last year that the Arizona plant would instead become a key 4680 battery cell production site for Tesla. So that's going to be good news. More 4680 cells being made in the US next year by LG Chem. That's going to be, I think, potentially, possibly a higher energy density 4680 cell. It might have a little bit higher energy density than Tesla's existing batteries. And potentially the new Panasonic version could be using silicon in the anode, which would of course increase energy density by five to 10%. Let's see if that happens. What are your thoughts on this? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.